In a time where almost every G1 character gets a new toy based on their G1 design, it's often surprising when a new character is given a legacy name and then surpasses the character they were named after in popularity to the point to, of replacing their G1 counterpart in a classic style line. My name is Sint, and today on Center Reviews, we're taking a look at Transformers movie, Barricade! Barricade was released in 2007 as part of a second wave of the deluxe lineup, and initially retailed for about $10. He was later repacked during Revenge of the Fallen with a new accessory. Starting off in an alt mode, Barricade is a 2007 Sailing Mustang modified as a police car, and, well, it definitely does give off bad cop vibes right off the bat, which is exactly what Barricade needs. Detailing on this guy is very, very nice, as always with movie figures. You can see intake vents right there on the front, the light bar molded in clear plastic, um, the little um, headlights, uh, brush guard, taillights molded in the back along with the saline logo back here, as well as the Police Decepticon logo, the proper police painted in silver right there, and the ever so iconic to punish and enslave right there on the rear fender. Some other details include the 643 car number right there at the roof, as well as right here at the front, and I, well not on the back actually, um, so yeah. For size comparison, here he is with Cybertron Downshift, fellow muscle car that actually has quite a bit in common with Barricade, actually. <laughs> and of course, here he is with Siege Sideswipe to get a rough idea of how he looks compared to a more modern deluxe. Much like Bumblebee, Barricade's alt mode is an excellent representation of a sleek looking muscle car decked out to be a police car. Maybe a little underpainted, but it fits the car, I guess. On to transformation. Barricade ranks as a 2 in complexity, being one of the simplest figures in the line, excluding Legends figures, of course. Barricade's transformation is very simple, but also pretty unique. So, we're gonna start off by coming to the sides here and pulling out, well, basically the entire side sections of the car. Just pull them out like that and swing them forward. Next we're gonna come to the back and then swing forward this entire section and lock the hips into place right here. Come to the legs, split them, bring them outward, bring them down. Like that flip down the foot, and extend out the legs, down the foot, extend out the legs, flip up these little kicking spurs here, and there's the legs complete, bring down the arms, and then pull apart the hood, bring back the roof, get your hands underneath there, flip out the head, flip up his little insect wings, I guess, rolls up the hood a little bit, and then angle forward. The shoulder pylons, and there we have barricade in robot mode. The best way I can describe barricade's robot mode is bug monster. He is very insectoid, almost grasshopper-like. Which, I, I could make some Shin Kamen Rider comparisons there, but I'm not gonna. Oh wait, I just did. But yeah, overall, a very bug-like looking robot mode. Overall, the mold detailing continues to be great, with some little tech details, some claws molded in there on the inside of the hands. Um, some little greebles on his legs arms, 
little kicking spurs right there so you can get some of the kneecaps. Once again, very insectoid looking face. It's actually made of a soft rubber-like material for safety reasons. Um, and of course the wings sticking up right at the back, very bug-like. Now you may have noticed Barricade did not have an automorph. In place of an automorph, if you flip down the brush guard right here, you can pull out his grill, as you just saw right there as I fumbled. And if you unfold it here, we've got Frenzy. Yay, Frenzy. Frenzy is really nothing to write home about. He's done up in solid gray. He likes to fall a lot, as you just saw. Some little dots of paint for his eyes. The most interesting thing I can say about Frenzy is that he came in a variety of colors, including blue and red, as well as a forbidden black version, which came in a screen pack where he was permanently glued into Barricade's chest compartment. In the way of other gimmicks, Barricade has what is marketed as a punch, but I'm pretty sure supposed to represent the flail that he used in the movie. There's a little switch right here on his arm, and when you pull back on that, his entire arm right here swings forward, and it's supposed to be a punch, but like I said, I feel it's more supposed to represent his flail, which, uh, yeah, that's what I personally think it more represents, but like I said, instructions in back of the box, I believe, both marketed as a punch, and it's a little bit fiddly to get folded back up. In the way of articulation, Barricade's a little lacking. Um, his head can go up and down a bit due to transformation, no left and right there, unfortunately. Ball jointed shoulders, as well as they can, are a bit of a butterfly joint. Pylons are on a ball joint. Um, simple bend at the elbow, which bad elbow to show that on, but the other elbow is interestingly ratcheted. The um, the hands can sort of move a bit, as you can see here. But so yeah, ball jointed hips. Um, the digit grade legs have double knees. Um, swivel at the knee, and then a ball-jointed ankle due to transformation. So yeah, um, a little below average in some places, but not terrible. You can get some good poses out of him. Here he is with downshift, and like I said, these two have a surprising amount in common, including a um, chest-based gimmick, which is rather interesting that there's two muscle cars with a chest-based gimmick. Huh. And then, of course, here he is with Siege Sideswipe, and once again, like with all these movie figures, absolutely dwarves him. I can transform this thing with my eyes closed now. I've transformed him so many times. Overall, Barricade is just a fun gimmick fest. He, not, he might not be exactly great, but between Frenzy and the punch gimmick, and just the fact that he's so fun to just switch between robot and car, I would say this guy's definitely worth a pickup. He's a very fun figure to have. Going from MicroMaster to Movie Star, Barricade shows how a big break for a character can completely change how a character is viewed and portrayed in future media. See you guys next time, where we'll be taking a look at our first Voyager class figure from this line.